Hello everyone, welcome back to Wrath of Math. I'm your host, Sean E, and in today's video, we'll be going over five number summaries. What is a five number summary of a set of data, and how do you find it? Five number summary isn't too complicated, it's just um, five numbers that are probably um, pieces of statistics that you already know how to find. If not, hopefully this video helps you learn how to find them. So let's get into it. The five number summary of any set of data is comprised of five different numbers naturally. The minimum, I'll just write min, the first quartile, Q sub 1, the median, I'll just write med, the third quartile, Q sub 3, and the max, and all of these values are very straightforward to find. So let's get right into it with a simple example, and that should do it for the five number summary. There's not too much nuance or trickery um, going on here. So let's say we have some data from an alligator wrestling contest to uh, see how many alligators each contestant could successfully wrestle in a span of 10 hours. And let's say these are the numbers we've got uh, for this contest. Somebody uh, successfully wrestled one alligator, one guy managed to wrestle three, someone had five, four, let's say uh, two, zero, uh, let's take a five, and uh, we'll have a nine. Someone wrestled nine alligators, that's almost one per hour. First thing you're gonna do is uh, list the numbers from least to greatest. You could also list them um, from greatest to least, but least to greatest generally is more intuitive, so let's do that. We have 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5, and 9. Did I get them all? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. I did indeed. So right now, uh, two of our values for our five member summary already jump out at us. Zero and nine. And let's put our five number summary over here. So our minimum is zero and our maximum is nine. Now we only have three things left. So to find the median, of course, it's just the middle piece of data. So let's go in one, go in two, go in three. We see our middle two pieces of data are three and four. So we just go halfway between them, which is three and a half. So our median is 3.5. Now to find the first and third quartile, you have to split the data into two different pieces and you split the data right at the median. Since we have an even uh, number of data points, we can split it right here. So we section it off into these two pieces of data. If we had an odd number of data points, there would be some number here, and that number would not be included in either um, of these two pieces of the data. It would basically be discarded for finding the first and third quartile. Let me write out an example of that real quick. Let's just say we have one, two, three, five, and six. Then our median would be three, and we would just we'd split the data right there and we'd look at these two pieces to find the first and third quartile. But that's not what we're dealing with, but I just want to mention that so you know what to do in that case. So now all we have to do is find the median of this lower half of data and find the median of this upper half of data. And that's all the quartiles, uh, at least the first and third quartiles are, is the median of the lower half and the median of the upper half. So again, we go in one, we go in two, we've got two numbers in the middle of this set of data, so we go halfway between them. That's 1.5, that's our first quartile. Same thing over here, we've got two numbers in the middle, but they happen to be the same number, so we can just take that number. And that's our five number summary. The minimum is zero. First quartile is the median of the lower half of data. The median is 3.5, which is where we split the data into an upper and uh, lower half, or lower and upper half, however you prefer to say it. Uh, the third quartile is the median of the upper half of data, and of course the maximum is the highest value in the data. So that is just a quick example of the five number summary with a set of data um, gathered from an alligator wrestling contest that I was in. I was the nine. Um, so thank you very much for watching. I hope this video helped you understand what a five number summary is and how to construct it. It just gives you a nice little overview of a set of data. You can also use a five number summary to make something that is called a box plot, which is a very cool representation of data, but we'll talk about that another time. So thank you very much for watching. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions, if you need anything clarified, or if you had any other video requests. Thank very much for watching. I'll see you next time and be sure to subscribe for the swankiest math videos on the internet. I can hear your voice from all the way up here, dear. Won't you please come to me? You'll have it up here, dear. There's a light where I float that erases all black. It makes
fix everything.